The purpose of this video is to walk you through all of the major course assignments. And the reason that I'm doing this is because um, the class builds on itself. So what we write at the beginning of the course is going to be used in what we write in the middle of the course. And that stuff's going to be used in what we write at the end of the course. So depending on um, what topic you pick, you kind of need to know where we're headed at the end of this class and kind of the processes that we're going to be taking throughout the class in order to effectively pick the thing that you want to write at the beginning of the class. Um, I, I think it's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. You need to see where we're going so that you can get there. Um, my point in structuring our class in this way is I really think that so much argumentative writing doesn't fully understand the blend of subjective and ob subjectivity and objectivity that's required for an effective argument to be made and written about. And I really want to make sure that you can get there because if you can't get there by the end of this class, all of the other argumentative texts you will have to write in college are not going to get there either. Um, why? Why does that even matter? Um, because you're going to spend your life making arguments. We are going to argue for the people in our lives. We're going to argue for ourselves. We're going to argue for our children, our pets. We're going to argue for things that matter to us. And if you want, why do we argue? Because we want to convince someone of something. We're not just like trying to pick a fight. I mean, maybe you are, but um, if we want to convince someone of something, then we need to know how to do it right. This is the foundation of that. So first I'm going to ask you to write a subjective essay. And the reason I'm asking you this is because I want you to sort out your thoughts on whatever topic you pick. Now, I will talk about this in another video, but the topics that you pick need to be specific and really narrow. Um, and they don't need to be just these general, like, talking point topics. Um, they should also be really something that matters to you. So I'm going to ask that you pick a really narrow topic, something you actually care about. Like maybe that's Harry Potter, and so you're going to write me an argumentative essay about Harry Potter. Or maybe that's golfing, and so you're going to write me an argumentative essay about golfing. Um, but it should be something that you have feelings on, right? Because you're going to have to first write a subjective essay. How do you feel about it? What's your claim? What are you thinking? If you never had to do research but you had to make an argument, what would you say? That's your subjective essay. Then I'm going to test you on MLA format um, because I love testing people on MLA format. It's like my favorite thing to do. Um, and then you're going to make sure, you know, the test is going to make sure that you're ready for the Works Cited page. You're going to start compiling research, okay? so. I think that a lot of students do this backwards. They have an argument and they look for research that's going to fuel their argument. So you are going to have a topic and you're going to start looking for research on the topic. Not necessarily to fill your argument, but on the topic. Then I'm going to ask you to write an objective essay. So you will have found this research already. You already kind of know how you feel about this topic. You started to find research. You're evaluating that research. Now I want you to tell me objectively. Forget about what you think. What is the research saying? What are other people saying? What are the sources saying? Your sources can be subjective, but you can't. And so I'm going to teach you how to do that. Now we're going to put it all together. So we're talking about like your thoughts on it, what you've done and researched and how you've figured out how to format that, and then other people's thoughts on it. And you're going to bring it down together and you're funneling it into your argumentative research essay. And I'm going to ask you to write that with the content that you created already, um, and I will explain more of that in more detail later on. Um, but for that argumentative research essay that again has been built from the topics you've, the topic you selected like now, um, I'm going to ask for a thesis and an outline. I'm going to ask for a draft and I'm going to ask for a final. That's everything. That's the overview of course assignments. If you have any questions about this overview, please send me an email.